If there was an award for hardest working shrimp in Aquaria today, it would have to be handed straight to the Amano shrimp. They also happen to be pretty cute to look at too. Keep watching. Behavior. We'll start by discussing their behavior by mentioning that these shrimps should behave relentlessly, as in we do mean they never stop working away at the rubbish in your tank. They're peaceful and easygoing shrimp and are one of the most popular because of how much debris they hoover up for you. If you have more than one, there will be dominance by size and on the arrival of food, their behavior can be on the fractious side of things as they all charge for their portion. The biggest will get priority and so on down the order. Beyond that, it's a non-stop mission to forage for whatever else they can eat, and they will dutifully go about their day digging into the substrate and nibbling on plant parts that are decaying. Amano shrimp also molt monthly, so you can expect to see exoskeletons on the bottom, but they too will not last long. They are social crustaceans and prefer to live in troops like they do in the wild. It should be emphasized they do truly need to be in a group, a minimum of five or six, more if you can. Below that minimum, they will not fare well and won't be happy to be in your tank. A typical Amano shrimp can live for two to three years and occasionally longer. That's a lot of cleaning for your tank at very little cost. Appearance Amano shrimp are pretty plain looking, with translucent bodies not unlike the ghost shrimp, but they still have an attractive or cute quality about them that makes them fun to observe. Normally growing up to two inches in length as adults, they can be tricky to see in the tank with their transparent, colorless appearance. Their tails are completely colorless too. There should be a reddish-brown broken line along their length, similar to a row of dashes, accompanied by blue-gray dots. A white dorsal stripe runs the entire length, and they always have black eyes. Females are generally larger than males, and to tell them apart, you need to look at the row of dots that run along the length of the body. The dots on females look more like messy dashes, and on males, they're round and properly circular. Tank Conditions being freshwater shrimp and native to streams and rivers, these shrimp are used to a decent flow rate of water and need a lot of oxygenation for their tank setup. Being tiny, they do best with a sponge filter or hang-on back filtration and added air stones for airflow. If you have a hang-on back filter, make sure you at least have a sponge sleeve over the intake so these little shrimp don't get sucked in and perish. Shrimp also love to hang around the sponge and eat up all the gunk that collects around it, so it adds to their enjoyment of eating all things all the time. Sandy substrate with fine gravel works best, and you will require abundant plant life, caves, and other nooks and crannies for these little guys to hide in. For more info, visit our site today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.